Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. And given that the weather here in the Northeast is going to be rather quiet for this week, we're going to focus a little attention on Tropical Storm Nicole, which continues to get better organized as evidenced by the enhanced satellite. Uh, you can see that it's turning uh, much more circular in nature. Convection is trying to wrap around the center. And we have the development of some higher and colder cloud tops here in the dark red. Now, they did develop earlier today and they kind of disappeared, but they've come back tonight. So if it holds together, Nicole is likely to strengthen uh, to a hurricane sometime on Tuesday. Now, there are, <clears throat> there are two uh, areas that I want to focus my our attention on. The first one is Bermuda, which is this little dot right over there. And when we take uh, the GFS out tonight, uh, the track is decidedly f uh, to the left. It's uh, the, the last several runs of the GFS took took it right over Bermuda or just east of Bermuda. So now we're taking it just west of Bermuda uh, by, uh, it looks like about 90 miles or so. Uh, we'll see if that holds in future trends. It could be in reaction to uh, the strong ridge that's to the northeast kind of holding a little stronger. We do also have a, a weak cold front that is pushing through uh, in the east. And, and you can see it here. Um, right there, there's the cold front, and that's moving eastward, uh, but it's weakening as it moves eastward, but it's enough of a kick that it'll eventually take uh, Nicole and lift it out to the northeast, and as it does so, as we move through time, it's likely to become a very large Atlantic extratropical storm, and the question is with regards to the maritime provinces. Now, I know the Canadian maritime provinces and I know there are a number of you from there uh, that uh, are watching these YouTube videos, and I really appreciate that. So I'm going to try to spend a little time tonight on <clears throat> what the outcome is for the Maritimes. Now, usually these storms, when they get like this, and this is a pretty wrapped up cyclone that is sitting south of Newfoundland here and southeast of uh, Nova Scotia. Uh, but what happens is that it comes to a grinding halt and then gets dragged southwestward for a little while. And then it turns around and it starts moving north-northeast. And the GFS looks like it wants to take it uh, right over Newfoundland. Now, this would be in day eight. Now, I would caution you uh, that because we're talking eight days out. This is likely to change. Uh, but uh, what the model is doing is that it's reacting to a couple of things in the upper atmosphere. So we're going to take a look at that. I'll have to go a little bit wider. So we're going to take the North Atlantic view, and we'll put the upper air on. Uh, here we go. So this is what it looks like on the upper air, and I'm going to back it up. The problem is that, all right, so here's Nicole when it goes by Bermuda. And you can see what's going on uh, both in the east a part, eastern part of Canada and out in the Atlantic Ocean. And what we have is we have a, a big upper low that's up in northern Canada, and there's a deep trough there that it's kind of caught in. But at the same time, the uh, model is showing us a ridge that's building uh, in the Atlantic. And you can see that ridge right over here. It's very strong. So you've got you've got this jet stream to the north that wants to kick it out to the northeast but it's got you also have this ridge that's building right there um right here and that's going to according to the gfs anyway bring it to a grinding halt uh, which it does and then it kind of drags it southwestward the northern jet lifts up so when you're at this position and now we're at next monday so we're a week away from here again i want to caution you that you know a lot can change in this uh, flow in a week, but the jet stream to the north lifts north of this cyclone, and you have a ridge here, and you have some ridging here. So it's it's kind of squared trapped in the middle at this stage of the game. Now, as we move it out further, eventually we get some troughing here in the eastern part of the United States, and uh, the model wants to take it right over Newfoundland and then northeast from there. So a lot's going to depend on, um, in the longer term, a couple of things. One is 
Um, how strong is this ridge it, that it builds out in the Atlantic? The second question is going to be this trough. Whoops, I'm, I'm picking weird colors. I'm sorry. So um, you go to the red. So this trough here, you know, the question is, is the model correct in showing this little, this little upper low that forms in, in south of James Bay and creates troughing in the eastern states that kind of acts in a way to kick this out. Eventually, this ridge that's out in the Atlantic is going to weaken. So we'll go back to the surface because it should be out far enough. And you can take a look at that. And we'll go back to southeastern Canada and we'll move it along. Now, it may not be out far enough. So if it isn't, I apologize. It doesn't seem to be on this particular um, mode. It's only out to day almost quite almost to uh, day nine and it's just getting ready to move on shore let's see if we have another maybe the north atlantic view is out further because the upper air is out and the north atlantic view is yeah the north atlantic view is a it's a little harder to see so i'll zoom in for you and let's get this a little tighter and you can see it there right there it also weakens a bit when it gets to that point so let's back it up and you can take a look uh, so let me go back a little further so so here we go through bermuda northeast looks like it's about to head toward newfoundland then kind of stalls out drifts around for a day or two and then it takes it right over as a weakening cyclone over newfoundland and this would be in the day nine so according to this it would be a week from wednesday and you can see in the eastern states at the same time, we have a rather strong uh, weather front. Let me just change the color because cold fronts should be in blue. There's your cold front that moves on through. So that weather system really acts as the catalyst to take, to take uh, what at this point is an extra tropical cyclone uh, right over Newfoundland. So we'll see how this, obviously, we've got a long, long way to watch it uh, and see what happens. Um, this also would imply uh, some colder air, by the way, moving into uh, the eastern states around this low that goes up uh, the St. Lawrence Valley uh, sometime around, what's the date on that? So this would be on the 19th of the month. So we're talking about um, a week, uh, next week sometime. So we'll see how it plays out. This is, again, at this stage of the game, uh, we... Uh, are in speculative mode but it certainly is something very interesting to watch and we will be doing that for you while the weather here in the united states remains pretty quiet so if we go back and you look there's a cold front that comes through here on thursday in the northeast but it weakens we get no rain from that another high builds in and then we have this low that goes to the st lawrence valley that maybe produces uh, some showers uh, a week from a week from uh, tuesday um and tuesday night that means it'll, it won't rain here for the next um, eight eight days or so and then after that uh, it turns colder and drier so there you have it in a nutshell the pattern uh, for the eastern part of the united states is relatively benign we'll continue to watch tropical storm nicole which is forecast to become a hurricane during the day on tuesday and don't forget uh make sure you check uh ss storm chasers uh, dot com uh, for all the latest, also go to their Facebook page. And, of course, there's my Facebook page and uh, meteorologistjoechaffee.com, my website. And for local area, uh, we're talking weatherlongisland.com and nycweathernow.com.